Okay, time for Bandit level 31 to level 32. Um, a level goal. There is a git repository at this SSH URL. Um, the password for the user bandit 31 hyphen git is the same as for the user bandit 31. Clone the repository and find the password for the next level. So there's more git stuff going on. Um, the same setup as before. Uh, I wasn't expecting another git one, but we have another git one. Um, I've logged in and I've got the password on the clipboard, which I will put there again. And straight to it as usual going to make a temp, uh, a temp folder called Dean2 and I'm going to cd into that. This is where we're going to work from in this in this exercise and let's git clone that repository and see what we've got going on there. Okay do we want to continue? We do want to continue What's bandit 31 hyphen git's password? Well, it's the same as bandit 31's, which is why we put it here, ready to be used. Okay, let's control L. And we saw that it downloaded. We've got this repo. Um, let's cd into it. And ls, and the, the legendary readme file. So let's cat that. Okay, and this time your task is to push a file to the remote repository. Um, details, file name, key.txt, content, may I come in, and to branch master. Okay, so a little bit different. So this time we're going to learn the sort of the commands that we use to, to um, sort of stage, sort of add files to our um, Sort of working depository, um, depository, repository, and then um, commit them, uh, and then push them to the remote repository. Uh, so that's that's going to be a few more commands. And like I said always, this isn't going to be a, a tutorial on how to use Git and push um, things, but I will give a, a very general brief overview of the commands. But first things first we need to make this key.txt file um, in our working directory, in our repository. So let's use nano and make this file called key.txt. Okay, um, and let's remember that it needs to just contain the string may I come in uh, with a question mark. So may I come in, question mark. And then let's exit out of this and save save to key.txt done so now we've got a file key.txt um, so we've got the, we've got a file formatted in this particular um, way now there's there's a before we can try and push this there's sort of different stages in um, in uh, committing or making a commit to um, in, in git so first, if we aren't, if Git isn't tracking a file, then we have to add that file to be tracked by Git. Um, and then after we've done that, and we've made any changes to this working directory we're in, um, that we want, and, and after we've made those changes, we say, okay, now I want to commit these changes. As long as everything's being tracked that we want to be tracked, we can then use Git commit to commit the changes. So we need to add key.txt first. That's the that's the takeaway. So we can do git add key.txt. And we get this message. The following paths are ignored by one of your .git ignore files, key.txt. Use the F flag if you really want to add them. Okay, so this is there's a little bit of a trick here with this with this exercise. This dot git ignore file. If we ls a, we can see there's a dot git ignore file in our git um, repo. And if we cat that dot git ignore, it's got this wildcard.txt. Essentially, what that means is that 
whenever we try to add anything with .txt into our um, working directory, it's not going to track anything with .txt at the end. Um, so that when, if we had a load of files that we didn't want to commit, but we didn't want to have to specify that we didn't want to add them and such and such, we could just use a git ignore file to do that for us. Obviously, they've they've put this git ignore file in here to sort of like um, hamper our progression. So we're just going to get rid of the the git ignore file. So rm to remove dot git ignore. Get rid of that. And now when we try and git add key.txt, nothing happens, which is great. Um, so now if we do git status, it sort of tells us what's what kind of what's happened. It's told us this new file that it's now tracking. Um, and it's it said that we've we've removed this file. Um, so now now that our our file is added um, and we can see that the git status is is um, recognizing that we can commit it. So we commit it with just git commit. And now we have to pass a message to git commit um, with a description, you know, of that commit. You know how like when we were looking at them before in the log, it said like initial commit of readme md something like that that would be this message um, so let's put a message with the m flag and I'm just gonna put hi because I have no idea what else to say <laughs> um, but but in doing that we make our own commit so if I hit enter now you can see that on the master branch um, with a message hi we've got this insertion of a file and it's called key.txt if we now look at the git log you can see that this is our latest commit, the one that we've just done, and the initial commit was the one that we started with earlier. Okay, so now we've committed our changes. We have the file ready. We just need to push them to the remote repository. Um, how do we do that? Just using the git push command. Um, and it's gonna be the default git push command because we're already on the branch and everything that we want to work and we want to push to. Um, we want to push all the files in our working directories. We don't have to specify anything. We can just do git push. So let's try that. Um, okay, and it says, do we want to connect? And we hit yes. And it wants our password, which I believe is still on my clipboard. So let's just do that. Yes, and then what's happened? Oh, okay, so it's pushed and it's got this sort of message where it's, they've got some, um, some something going on on the other end, which I'm not I'm not aware of. Uh, that's that's give us this lovely little well done message um, for for pushing the correct file. Uh, and it's it's been rejected by the looks of things. Pre receive hook declined. So it's it's got some sort of code there that's just checking that we're trying to add the correct file, it's shooting us back this uh, congrats message, and then it's declining our attempt to push the changes. Uh, okay, so I know that was super brief and I didn't go into it as much as maybe I have on some of the other ones, but like I say, again, this is um, Git is a whole thing in itself and way beyond my um, level of explaining. <laughs> okay, I shall see you in the next one.